Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk in tutoring five days a week. Today we'll be reviewing the heating curve. Um, you'll also hear this um, called a phase diagram also. The heating curve shows the relationship between temperature and energy for a material uh, and also provides you with uh, the different phases that you'll find for that material. If today we use as an example water, you know the different phases of water solid form is ice liquid form we just call water and then the gaseous form is steam you also uh, can represent here the melting point 0 degrees centigrade for water and 100 degrees centigrade is the boiling point so there's a lot of information in this curve. If you're below zero degrees centigrade, you're down here in this light blue line, you have solid ice. And as you give it energy, the temperature rises. You're moving up as my green arrow shows. You still have solid ice, but that ice is getting warmer. Once you hit this point, zero degrees centigrade, now you have ice at zero. If you give it any more energy, you begin, as my green arrow shows here, you begin to melt the ice. Now, what's important to remember is that all along this uh, straight line here that's um, dashed, you have ice and water mixture, but the temperature remains constant at zero degrees. So all the energy you give it over this point is going directly into converting the solid ice to liquid water. And you stay at zero until you hit this point here. At this point, you have 100% 100 liquid water. There's no more ice. You're at zero degrees centigrade. And any more energy that you provide is now going to raise the temperature of that water. And as you add more energy, the water gets warmer and warmer, warmer until you hit this point here, another transition point. You'll have water at 100 degrees centigrade, the boiling point. And now if you provide any more energy, you're going to convert that water into steam. And it continues, again as below, the temperature does not change. It's still 100 degrees centigrade, but you're converting. Every bit of energy you give it now is converting that liquid water to steam until you hit this point. Now you have all steam, no more liquid water. You're at 100 degrees centigrade. And when you now add any more energy, now you begin to heat the steam. And the steam gets hotter and hotter. So it's important to realize that as you're doing your phase changes from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas, when you're at that freezing point or melting point or the boiling point here, the temperature stays constant uh, as the energy that you provide goes into changing the phase of the material. You can now look at the additional videos we have uh, which go into the heat equations which can tell you how you can do calculations using this curve. <laughs> 